Hey, Trip Nation, how you guys doing? I wonder if this could go this way. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Legacy Rideshare. Hey, William. Put on my glasses. Oh, there we go. I think. There we go. St. Louis is in the house. Hey, Phoenix. How you doing, buddy? We're just off to a meeting right now. So Amy's driving so I can talk to you guys. I always drive. Yeah, she's my, uh, she, hey, Oscar, how are you, amigo? Uh, yeah, Amy always drives for me, so I don't get in wrecks while I'm trying to talk on the phone. It's a bad habit to get into. So, a um, couple things that I want to bring up. One is, I got a, a uh, text about an hour ago from one of the, uh, you know, referral partners talking to a restaurant, and then the the question to her was, what happens if I uh, want to cancel the order um, and who, how, do, how do I not get worried about Trip running off with the money? And obviously, she doesn't understand the program. We do not touch restaurant money at all. We set up the restaurant tour with their own merchant ID account, which is theirs and theirs solely. So the, the person that orders the food goes directly from them to the restaurant. Trip is not in between there at all. We have no control of the money. You're thinking of the other competitors all do that. That's one of the big advantages we have. The restaurant tour gets their money right away instead of getting to hell for four or five days. So we do not get in between the money for the restaurant and the, dry, uh, and the uh, person that's ordering the food. So you got to understand this point. It's a critical thing that we've done by able to issue merchant accounts to not only drivers, but the restaurant tours also. So that way you're always sure to get your money. There's nobody in between us at all. And that's the uniqueness of what we've done. That's we've, that we filed a provisional patent on that right now. There's nobody doing this in card processing at all anywhere that we could find. So we filed a, a provisional patent until we work through it even in greater depth. But essentially, we do not touch anybody's money. We get our fees paid by the uh, restaurateur that pays us directly. And it's not that we're holding their money or touching their money at all. I don't think that's what she meant. What do you think she meant? <laughs> I thought she meant, maybe I was reading it wrong, that she was saying they pay the one dollar to sign up as a restaurant and then we run off with their you know with their with nine or whatever that's what well, I they, no I no was she confused. she was talking no that's it has nothing to do with that okay. yeah so it's exactly what Lorene. i mean so yeah Lorene, if you're on there yeah so that's the way it works we do not touch any of their money the 149 activation fee is a one-time only activation fee and that doesn't happen annually that's just a one-time fee we're also working on, uh, I think I'd mentioned to you guys, the um, a new flow for people that don't want to drive, but you just want to be a marketer. So that process is up and testing right now. Uh, that should be ready to go on Thursday. We'll turn that on. Um, what we're going to do is Shanna is probably going to include that into her presentation on Thursday evening, uh, you know, on the training. So that'll be in there with some other new things we're working on. Uh, part of the restaurant flow, I think you guys know, we've redesigned that. The driver flow, we've redesigned that. That'll all be up in the next four or five or six or seven days. Depends which flow they're doing. The marketers first, the drivers next, and then the, the merchant flow for the restaurants will be last. But we are taking the OTP out. Hopefully that'll be out by Friday or Saturday. Day. Once the OTP's out, it'll smooth out the sign-up process. You don't have to worry about putting in a OTP or, or an email or any of that stuff. It'll flow pretty easy. But the complete reflow will be done on the 30th. But just getting the OTP out of there is about 90% of the problem. So those are some of the things we're working on right now. We're also looking at maybe some kind of promotion that we can start, you know, 
we, we haven't sorted out yet. I'm still working on it. Maybe by Saturday we might announce a promotion of some sort so we can start putting money in people's pockets. You know, we're very, very well aware of the COVID issue and unemployment issues and money and things like that. So we're going to look to see if we can, you know, do something to help that out in the way of promote some type of promotion. So that that's what's going on right now. We just got a lot of things. Once these last bit of stuff are done, the apps are fine. Everything's running. Uh, we're going to be doing some SEO work on our website. We we'll started hitting that, and then we're going to start looking at promotions for driving consumers to our apps. And we're going to start doing some trainings on that. Also, how you share the app, how do you get the restaurants engaged in sharing the app, and all that kind of stuff. So we're working on a lot of flow issues right now. Um, but most of those will be all dialed in the next four, five, six days. There's no showstoppers out there right now. We had a little bit of an issue over the weekend that lasted about two hours. Had nothing to do with technology. Well, had a lot to do with technology. It was the SSL certificate. We got that handled, uh, and we're right back online. So there's no tech issues that we see. Uh, we had some issues that came in this morning. Turned out to be user errors. Most of these things... Make sure your email you put in. Yeah, make sure you put the right information in because if you put the wrong information is you're going to error out then you think it's a system and we had two or three issues this morning we're all user errors nothing that you guys you know just you got to pay attention when you start putting information in that's all but uh that's about all i've got amy you got anything you want to add no she's doing a good job driving so she's a speed demon you guys so if i get crashed <laughs> it's her she did it all. Oh, I know. Tell Quanez congratulations. He did his first restaurant today. Yeah, Quanez, congratulations, dude. Simplify. You got your first restaurant. The first, first of many. And the first in Iowa. And the first in Iowa, yes. Yes. So um, anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off. We've been on here about seven, eight minutes. It's probably good. I'll get back. Uh, hey, Mike Jones, how you doing, buddy? Jose, how are you? The How much the restaurant has to pay percentage? We don't have restaurants paying us percentages. That's the thing. We add up. You guys got to go in the back office and read all this stuff. I say it almost in every call. We don't charge any markups on menus or any food markups. We charge either two ways. If you're a non-member, you're paying $3 and $2 for us to pick up and deliver for you. And if you're a member, you'll pay $2 and $1. If you're a member, the membership fee right now is $99 a year. And that's an introductory price. It'll go higher. But all of this information is in the back office. What about that change we made on that one page? Yeah, that, that would go back up. Okay. You know. But, yeah, it's, it, we don't charge any fee. It's just a flat markup. You know, it's $2 or $1 if you're a member, and $3 and $2 if you're a non-member, which is really low compared to, I saw a bill the other day was almost 50 bucks, and $14 of it was a fee, not counting the other hidden fees of another... 50 cents here and a dollar there and stuff like that. So we're, we're constantly looking at this. You have the best marketing plan on the planet when it comes to restaurants, putting more money in their pockets, more money in the driver pockets, save the consumer money because they're not getting marked up 30, 40%. So it's a win-win for everybody. Just got to get people to get out there and tell the story, tell the correct story. You got to get on Shanna's. And if you're a Latino, you got to get on Oscar's webinar on Friday and uh, Shanna's on Thursday because there's a lot of good information in there and then use the YouTube channel get back in the YouTube channel and start looking around at some of the past stuff but we're making some new charts up this week on the training for the new flows so we're gonna be doing stuff like that so you guys will see how easy it is so with that guys I'm gonna sign off right now